Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited I'm gonna be sharing a fashion video with you. I have received several requests for a fall fashion, Thanksgiving outfit ideas um, video. And so I'm here to share one with you. I don't share fashion videos that often just because, or clothing videos, just because I feel like they're the hardest thing for me. Um, and for several reasons. I love shopping for clothes. I love clothes, but I am a firm believer in investing in quality pieces, having less, um, having very simple, basic pieces. Diesel is sniffing. If you hear any tip tap towing, that's diesel. Um, so he is laying right here. Um, but I am a firm believer in just investing in really quality pieces, having fewer items, um, but just having good basics. So I feel like I struggle with fashion videos because the options are endless with the options that I have. Um, and so I struggle with what to share. So this video is gonna be like a hybrid of some of my favorite pieces for fall. I am gonna link everything down below and I'm also gonna link some similar options down below. Um, obviously a lot of these pieces are investment pieces, so I'm gonna have similar items at a more budget-friendly price point because obviously, I had a blazer for years before I bought my ball mom blazer. I had a J. Crew one and I loved it. It's amazing. I'll link that one. But just for example, I will link more budget friendly options down below. Then I'm going to talk you through some outfit ideas. So I'm going to do my best to keep it as interesting as possible and try on the items and show you guys how I put together items or pieces. But I'm going to share with you a piece and then give you some ideas as to how you could wear it um, and how I style that piece. The intro is very long. I hope I explained it well. We're just gonna hit the ground running. So definitely check the description bar for links to everything and also for alternative pieces at more budget-friendly price points. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I wanted to mention is this black turtleneck. I've had this one for years. This one is no longer available. This one is just from Nordstrom. It's super stretchy, which works for maternity because it's been able to stretch with me. Um, I also wanted to mention that the only thing in this video that is maternity are my jeans and my leggings. So the leggings that I have and the jeans that I have are maternity, but you can easily find um, leggings and jeans that are non-maternity and I'll link some of my favorites down below. So as I mentioned, a great black turtleneck is a, an amazing staple. You can wear this with um, under a vest or under a jacket, under a blazer, with jeans, leggings, with skirts, the options are literally endless. You can wear it under a dress. Um, I'm gonna style this black turtleneck a few different ways for you, um, but first let me change into my outfit. <laughs> okay, so one of my wardrobe staples for all throughout the year are a pair of good classic pumps. I love this pair from Manolo Blahnik. I have two pairs. I have them in the nude kind of suede and then these navy blue suede. I definitely probably get the most wear out of the nude um, or the beige color. However, the navy is definitely runner up and I think I prefer the navy over black because it's softer and I do wear more navy. So this first outfit, I hope you can see my feet. I have on my page maternity jeans. I love these because they're dark wash. For fall, dark wash jeans are perfect. I love that they're a little dressier. Um, I always love a good fall fashion vibe. Um, so they have a little distressing. You can find very similar options that are not maternity, but if you're interested, these are maternity. And they do have bands. Um, so I pair that with my black turtleneck, this navy ball mom blazer. And you could wear this with any type of blazer, it does not have to be balm on. I am wearing this beauty as long as I can um, into my pregnancy. And I love, love this blazer. If you're considering it, it's amazing. My mom just bought one. Um, and, but if not 100%, I recommend the J. Crew Schoolboy Blazer. I'll link it down below. I have an entire blog post on it, so I'll link that also. And then the navy pumps. I love this because I think it's so classy and beautiful and you could wear this literally like to a casual day at work. You could wear it to lunch. This is like one of my favorite date night looks. Um, I just think it's really pretty and very fun. So I'll just give you like a little spin around, but it's so cute. If you wanted, I would probably, so I would probably carry this with my Chanel classic flap, a nice like over the shoulder bag. I also love this bag because you can carry it like this. So I might would actually probably carry it like this if I was going on a date night. 
Um, and I love it. This is one of my favorite outfits. I'm glad I chose this one first. <laughs> okay, so the second um, favorite piece for fall would be a really great sweater. I love chunky sweaters. I love thin sweaters. This one is kind of like a great in between. The details on the sleeves are incredible. This one is from Club Monaco from last year. If it's still available, I'll link it. One of my favorite things, other than dog hair on everything that I own, <laughs> is a great kind of mock neck, turtleneck, Cal neck, I love any kind of pretty neck sweater. Um, and obviously you're gonna see a ton of black in this video. Um, it's just one of my favorite colors for fall. So this looks great with jeans. I kept the jeans on. You could wear it with any kind of regular jeans. I have it with my maternity jeans. This is not a maternity piece. Um, and then I have it paired. Let's see if I can get my feet in the shot. So I paired this with my classic black Chanel flats. Any flats will do. I love them, they're so versatile. It's such an easy outfit. So this is an outfit that I find so comfortable. I would throw this on to go to a family dinner. I would go shopping in this, Christmas shopping. Um, it's a great Thanksgiving look. Another one of my favorite classic pieces, I've had this for years and years, is this Burberry quilted jacket. So, of course, mine is in black, but I love it so much. To me, this is just a classic outfit. I grab my St. Laurent Sac du Jour, my Louis Vuitton Speedy. It's just so cute, and this is like, this just feels like me on the everyday. It's super comfortable, versatile. You could put on a vest, any jacket. This one is like one of my favorites, and I'm gonna share with you some of my other favorite jackets, so I wanted to pair this one with this outfit but I love that it's simple and when you keep very neutral pieces, you can pair them all together. Okay, so a new addition to my fall wardrobe is the this pair of Hermes boots, booties. Um, they're so cute, very classic. I love the heel. They have a zip on the inside. They're a pretty like kind of tan camel color, which goes perfect into my wardrobe with all of my camel coats. That's one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna put these on. So honestly, I just grabbed all of my favorite pieces and um, I'm kind of putting these outfits together on the fly. One of my favorite things that I have adored during pregnancy, this is more pregnancy specific, is leggings, especially this pair from Belly Bandit. So they come up super high, they have room for your belly, and they're super comfortable. The one thing I have to say about these leggings is they do not get lint or dog hair stuck in them. I don't know what it is, but everything I have is covered in dog hair, which is totally fine because I love my weasel, but these leggings don't get stuck with dog hair, which I adore. They're also super stretchy and soft. Um, they're just, honestly, I will buy more from this brand. <laughs> um, so anyways, I put on the boots. The leggings are like my favorite go-to everyday piece. Um, I adore this theory coat. If you follow my channel or my Instagram, for, I got it last year. The past year, I've done nothing but talk about it during the colder months. Um, so I went ahead, I have put on my black turtleneck again. Very neutral, black turtleneck, leggings, a great base for jackets, um, vests, anything like that. You could throw on a trench coat, which I totally forgot my trench coat. I didn't even include that. I think I'm gonna make a video specifically on coats that are essential. Would you guys like to see that? If so, let me know. Um, either way. So coat over top of this, this theory jacket is incredible. It's so soft. It's so flexible. It looks great with jeans, everything, um, leggings, Louis Vuitton, chunky scarf, any kind of scarf, and then your booties. And I love these because they pair so great with this jacket. Um, and then I would probably, probably carry this bag because it'd probably be like a day out. I've been carrying my Saint Laurent sac du jour a ton lately, so this would, be my outfit. I posted this outfit on my Instagram a few weeks ago. Um, I wore this same outfit to our nephew's first birthday party, but at the time I was really in between. I didn't have anything that would really fit me maternity wise. Um, and this was my savior. So same turtleneck. This video could just be all about how to style a black turtleneck. This vest is longer. I cannot tell you how much wear I have gotten out of this vest over the past year, two years, I can't remember how long I've had it because I've worn it so many times. It looks so good with jeans. It looks even cuter belted like this. Um, you can wear it unbelted. I wear it like that most of the time, but you can belt it if you're going 
somewhere a little special, especially if you're like in between and you don't really know what to wear. Put a belt on. I have a cute belt, Louis Vuitton, my black leggings, and a black pair of Gucci boots, but you can wear any boots. Um, these ones are just some of my favorites. They're suede and they're super cute, but I love this. I wore it with my Chanel classic flat bag and it's super cute. I mean, and honestly what I love so much about all of these outfits, but especially this one, it's like literally feels like you're wearing pajamas out of the house. <laughs> a stretchy turtleneck, stretchy leggings, a cute vest, belted. These boots are super comfortable for walking and honestly, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. That's just my favorite thing about all this is it's so comfortable. I love fall clothes because you can look super cute and be cozy and comfy. Um, so this vest, I have to say, all of these pieces, I highly recommend, but this vest is probably, it's not the most worn because probably the Theory jacket is probably the most worn. Well, actually the leggings are probably the most worn, but this, I could say if there was like one unique classic piece that I don't feel like you can get by a ton of brands or a ton of duplicates, it would be this vest. It's so good. Another piece that I have gotten so much wear out of this fall that is like sadly as I put this on coming to an end has been my chambray um, kind of denim inspired shirts and I have had these for years and I have never styled them the way that I'm styling them they're a great pregnancy piece however the life is short-lived and I didn't realize how big this situation was was until now um, but that paired with a vest I've had this one this one's from Burberry you can find tons of options out there for just a black puffer vest. I recommend the black one. It's the most versatile, but it pairs with leggings. I wear it with jeans. It's a great transitional piece, and you can wear it with like a lightweight t-shirt in early fall, and then even with like really thick sweaters in late fall if you're not wearing a jacket or maybe you're like Black Friday shopping and you wanna um, have like, you don't wanna be wearing a big thick coat, you can throw on like a thick sweater, scarf, and it's vest and it'll keep you warm. Obviously yours will probably zip. Mine is no longer zipping. Um, with the leggings and I threw back on these Hermes boots because I liked, with this outfit, I think a little pop of color is good. You could definitely wear the black boots or you could wear flats. You could wear tennis shoes. I've worn this with tennis shoes, like any kind of like sneaker, anything. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I feel like this is like just proves my point of buying like good classic pieces because you can just style them over and over various ways. You could also also easily wear this um, vest and this whole outfit with a black turtleneck, a chunky sweater, like I said, this chambray button up, or you could also wear it with plaid. It would be so cute with any kind of button up shirt. Okay, so this shirt is still available, I believe. I love this. I wear it all the time. I got something on it the other night and I forgot to spot treat it rats it could be ruined i have no idea um but i also have this in black and in this gray it's so cute under a vest which i actually really love this this is giving me my own outfit inspiration and um you could also wear it under a denim jacket this top these leggings a denim jacket would look so cute both of these outfits i would probably just carry my little top handle just because i would be like running errands or something like that the one thing i love about these chunky booties these ones and the gucci ones both and any kind of dupe is that they're so comfortable and i can walk in them for a long time so I don't mind going to the mall in them or running errands or something like that. So this would also be a great top that is very versatile. You can wear it with jeans, leggings, anything like that. Um, and I even pair this like with white denim in late spring and early fall. Okay, so for my last outfit, it's this black dress. I love this dress. It is so classic, very simple. It's a very good price, I feel like, for the quality. I think a lot of these dresses can be made very cheaply and this one is made really nice it has a really great um like built-in bra i don't have that i do have on a regular bra but if you're able to uh, a great built-in bra um it's smoothing i do feel like i would like to get some maternity shapewear not to like try to make me look not pregnant but just to like smooth out all of the lumps and bumps but i feel like this dress does a pretty good job of doing that as is it's pretty long, I am 5'3", but I don't, I did think I was gonna have it tailored, but I don't think I'm going to. I think for the winter and the fall months, this is a perfect length 
because you could wear it with boots. I have paired it with heels as like a little bit of a dressier look. And these are the nude Manolos, um, but there are tons of options out there. I just prefer these because they are super comfortable and compared to some of the other higher end designer shoes, these are like relatively good price. So you can easily just throw on your Chanel bag or any kind of over the shoulder um, clutch bag and call it a day if you wanted to wear a longer coat. But if you wanted to make it like a little bit more kind of casual, a little less night out-ish, you could add a dog or <laughs> you could also put on this cardigan, which is honestly like my favorite buy so far of the fall, other than my Madewell sweaters, which I didn't include those because I feel like you've seen them a million times. I need to get the sleeves hemmed. I have yet to do that. So I'm just going to fold them up, but they look great folded up anyway. And this is great with leggings. It's great with jeans. It has pockets and I think it looks really cute with this dress. So I don't know. It's very thick. It's made very nice. And you guys, the price of this is I was like literally blown away at how nice the quality was. So I think that both of these pieces are like options that you don't need a dupe for. I think that they're great as is price wise, but super cute. This looks amazing with jeans and also with leggings, but I think it looks great with this dress too. So that's how I wanted to pair it a little bit differently from how I had been wearing it with my leggings. Um, and I think it looks like super cute with this dress. If you had like a cute scarf, you could even belt it if you wanted. You don't have to, but I think it looks really, really great. So I hope that you like it. So that is all for this fashion video. I hope that you were able to stick through it. I hope that it was helpful and hopefully you have some similar items in your closet that this will give you inspiration to style. And if you want to pick up a few new pieces, that is totally great. I usually like to make three, maybe four or less or more sometimes depending on um, investment kind of like pieces per season and then each year if you buy good quality the last few years and years I've had half of these coats for a very long time my Burberry pieces I've had forever um, and they just wear really greatly over the years so I would highly recommend um, investing in quality and then also if you have a piece that you really want to invest in like the Balmain blazer for example I had an, a cheaper alternative for years and years until I thought it would be worth spending the money to pay for the Balmain one to have it in my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out the links in the description bar for all the products and also for alternative options as well as blog posts that talk about fashion um, related to fall and some of these items so that way you can see pictures and everything like that. Hopefully it will be super helpful for you and I thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!